Okay, we're recording. We're recording again. <laughs> Next try. Second try of the second, third tier of the temple. Let's get moving. Last time. <laughs> God, I made some bad mistakes. I, I was just... Just missed, it, like, a bunch of dodges on those big guys. Gotta watch out for those big guys. And uh, if you lose the combo, you lose the combo. That's just something that happens. Uh, once we get this blessing, after this run, we don't need to care too much about the combo anyway. All we need to do is dodge, 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 dodge. So, what do we want to start with? 12, 20, 45. I actually prefer the bow, I think, to start with, and the big hammer, mace. Um, let's get moving. Got a message here. <laughs> Uh, all right, let's, you know what, I, I would like, ooh, there's events to do, we'll jump on them in a bit, um, I might record some of those events, but let me, let me try and do one of these third tier, we need to see one of these third tier bosses, uh, we haven't had, you know, another try yet, I'm still all about that base, uh, still all about the attributes, <laughs> let's go, let's, let's go the attributes path, right, so there's two attributes this side, um, but unfortunately we can't get over there, and we still need gold. Hmm. What do we do here? This is an interesting one, actually. Because um, if we go up this right path, we can always come back. But if we don't, we can. Ooh, this is this is an awkward one. Because I would like both of those attribute rooms. But it means we're going to not get a gold room until right at the end. Maybe that's okay. Let's try it. It's a shame we don't have one of these, like, uh, gold, like, slip off instead to the other side. Let's go this way. We'll go straight up the right-hand path, see what we can do. Okay. Uh, yeah, there was there was another thing. I actually posted it on Reddit. Um, it was at the end of the last one, we had a 12% heal every time you buy something with gold. We really needed that heal. And for some reason, the attribute uh, altar didn't show up. And I was like, oh, no, this this sucks. This was like a bug or something. Um, oh, God, let's, let's get out of this fire. How about that? Um, I, I posted on Reddit because I was like, That's, that seems like a weird thing to not have the, uh, you know, the, the main reason we kind of entered. Whoa, whoa, don't want to get corruption. Um, kind of the main reason we even chose to go down that path, you know, not actually even happen. Apparently, it's, it's... Somebody mentioned the Jaguar Temple specifically, so that's the one that we're doing. But, okay, we want to get out of that. We don't want corruption. We've still got... The timer's going for three. Alright, so we got three greed kill. Not quite a four, but it'll do. Um, yeah, so apparently they, they sometimes are hidden away in separate rooms and things like that. My eye problem with that was, uh, well, a lot of the game has these doors, right? And it blocks you from going back. These, these on the ground. So, if you miss that specific one, or if you go down the wrong path, you can actually just not get something. Um, so we need to be really careful, watch out for that. I'm not sure. It's not my favorite mechanic, and I really don't think it's very good, because I really wanted... I, you just, you always want... Ah, oh, no! Uh, you always want, you know, to upgrade your character in a roguelike, right? That's the whole fun. Um, you want to keep going and... Especially in this one where you're trying... The main thing is uh, balancing the corruption. Um, and your gold and whatnot. And we needed it for the heals and we had us all build around it. So we need to be more careful with stuff like that in the future. That's just that's just intel. We're learning stuff. Um, yeah, we do get a lot of gold. It's something we can get rid of anyway if we don't want it in the future. We do need a big two-handed weapon. You know what? Uh, I always start with this bow. We don't use it that much. Maybe we should start with the bigger two-handed, the heavy two-handed weapon from now on. Because getting through some of those walls, man, it's it's really important. Level plus one on two-handed weapon. Okay, that's that's interesting. Um, six percent of max health when an enemy is killed by the environment. Six percent is massive for something that we can get done. Maybe a good few times. Um, you know what? We don't have the money for either of these. I don't really want to get corruption early on. 200% greed kill limit is going to help us make more money for the future. So why don't we take... <gasps> Wait, no, we're trying to go to the attributes in the next room. You know, we're going to take this one anyway. We're going to take this one anyway because... 
it's going to help us get more gold and we can scale faster. Um, we still do want to go up because we still want some attributes. Main attribute we want, perception, man. Perception all the way. Perception also helps us scale uh, scale money because it literally is just a higher treasure. F oh, nope. Let's kill you. We'll mo walk around that very nicely. Can we stun you? Right, uh, can we go fight some more? Let's keep it going. We've got 200%, so we're not too bothered about that guy. I'm watching him down there as well. I'm watching these two. Let's get the stone. We got away from that. Let's see. That 200% is going to help us a lot. Right, we don't want this guy to survive. Let's see if we can get him over here. Whoa. Oh, and I lost the stamina at last. I dodged this guy, and I didn't have a... I didn't have the stamina to dodge the second attack. That's a shame. We got a lot of gold from it, though. We dodged a nice attack there. Let's just keep it going. You know what? The bow and arrow might, might just help us there. There we go. Um, not great. We took a bit of damage. But, you know, uh, we also got a lot of gold. Gold offerings remove five corruption. I do like that for now. Um, because if we do manage to buy one of these attributes, it's going to help us um, not take a curse straight away. We only need to go down by one, because you go up 20 a door. If you don't get hit by any, uh, you know, corruption attacks, which is, you know, it's, it's a lot to say. Not as e easier said than done, let's say. Still need to glue this, this mic arm together. So, right. Well, this is a room where we could have done the environment kills. Pretty simple. Uh, pretty simple. We are going to dodge that. Yep, there's one down. Environment kill. That's another one. We're going to run straight ahead. Try and get this combo going. Keep the combo going. That's the main thing. Unfortunately, we can't get through that room either. Look at that. You see? It's it's an important thing that we're missing. Um, not being able to get through these walls. We really, really would like a heavy weapon. What are you? Each kill restores a mana. Eh, not great. 62 gold is what we're going to take for now. And we did miss... Didn't miss it, but we left some stuff here because we wanted to run ahead. You want to run ahead and get that combo, you know, continue that combo. Shame, though. We're missing out on a lot of stuff, as you can see. A lot of extra things that we would really like. Okay, that's one down. We can... We don't stun this guy, so we've just got to make sure... Dodge out of that. And then we can dodge. And we can dodge, and we're good. We're solid. Hey, I don't know why he got... Oh, that's... A... <laughs> that's how. <laughs> oh, that was so stupid. That was so stupid. We're going to take both. There's no reason not to. Um, hopefully we can make the gold for the next one. We've still got another room. The best thing about these attribute rooms is they do seem to have a lot of stuff before them. Um, as well. Every room kind of has a lot going on, but these ones... Even if you don't have the money to, you know, I, I know that we wouldn't be able to buy it right now with a 487, but it's not unfeasible to be able to afford it by the time you reach it, which is nice. Okay. And then we come back over here. The bonus. Whoa, we don't want that. We don't want that either. You're gone. We'll stun you and you're gone. Another. Oh, look at all the gold. Nah, I, I think it's it's such a massive boon to have a heavy weapon. To get through those... Oh, crap. That's some bad damage. Um, to get through those walls. I don't think we can... I don't think we can um, say no to it anymore. It's, it's too good. The gold, man. It's all about the gold. And we're missing out on so much. Right, we've got one. We've got one stamina. Let it heal back up. We've got one again. There we go. Just needed a quick hit. Right, we're good. Yeah, man. Missing out on all these these uh, rooms full of gold. It's not not good. Not good. Not good at all. We need to find a heavy weapon. Whoa. Hey, yo. I think we're we, we kind of learning. The, uh, we got it to destroy the thing. You know what? Ah. Oh. I was just checking over here. I wonder if there's a wall over here. We can use this guy to destroy and then we just get blasted in the head. 20% base damage for shields. Definitely not heal me. 
Um, oh, we don't have enough. So what do we want? We want treasure find. Treasure find is more important for sure. I still don't know what this eye down here is. This number two? Number two on the eye next to the gold? I have no idea what that means, actually. So, weird. Weird, weird. Um, yeah, we don't need to tech any more corruption. We don't need to tech more corruption. We're going to offer gold. We're going to get less corruption. We're back down to 70. It's going to be nice. Um, now, we do want a curse, as we know. We want... Oh, you know what? This is going to give us 20, and we're going to get 20, 20. So we're going to get another 60, which is exactly um, what we need to, to, um, to actually become corrupt. We want a curse just before the boss. That's the thing, because it resets the bar, as we know. We do want gold. And then we might go to the uh, unknown room, spice it up, see what's going on with that. We've got to find us a two-handed weapon somewhere. Got to find us a two-handed weapon. Everything's going to kill me. I'm on fire. Um, I want the gold, though. Yeah, you know what? Just set me on fire. Give me the gold. Right, well, we trapped ourselves over here. <laughs> Not much we can do about that. We took a bit of damage from that fire, but we're all good. We're all good. You know, in Mexico they say, vale la pena. Which is like, it's worth the price. Vale la pena. Okay. Wee, we got you. And we know how you guys fight, yeah. We're not going to fall for your tricks anymore. It's not these guys though, it's the upgraded version of these guys that we have a lot of trouble with. They have the much bigger swings. Much bigger swings. Right, more gold, we love it. Oh, and there's combo still going. Let's see if we can keep it going here. Yes, yes, just what we like to see. We're gonna dodge, whoa. We saw that trap there at the last second. That was nice. We got him on the trap as well, which was even nicer. Oh no, I did try and dodge then. Uh, it didn't quite go through. We lost the combo because we got hit, of course. These flying eyeballs do not get hurt by the spikes because they're flying. But I feel like the other guys are flying as well. You know, the ones that shoot the orbs? To me, they look like they're flying, so I don't know why they get hit by the spikes. I'll have to figure that out. God, my... <laughs> look like an itchy nose. I have to go blow my nose in a second. Uh, oh. It's like, you know, you have like a hair on your face and you can... <laughs> it's like tickling me. Okay, 33% to all, all healing effects. You know what? It's... It, it is nice. We don't really have anything to stack with it. I think right now we need the gold more than anything. Um, because we are going to try and buy the attributes. Um, let, well, not the next room, but uh, in a bit. I really like this. Minus four corruption is not super necessary right now. I really like this. Healing every time we pay for uh, something. With gold, which is really what we're trying to do the entire game. Is what can we get away with buying You know, with gold. Let's go to unknown. I know we want a two-handed weapon. We might actually be able to afford a two-handed weapon, actually. So maybe we do just go to the weapon. Maybe we do. Say goodbye to the spice, but uh, this might be very uh, valuable for us in the long run because we've missed an... In Why? I don't think so. We've missed an entire like layer of the dungeon now. Of free gold rooms because we just didn't have a heavy weapon. It's it's a massive thing to lose out on. It's a lot of free gold. You know, I actually so I, I, when I did go on Reddit, um, I thought I wanted to ask because about the missing attribute altar. And uh, what I found is yeah, a couple of people mentioned yeah, it's it's uh, sometimes they're hidden in the middle of the room or are the the floor or whatever it is. Um, Alright, we're good. We can get... And we do it again. And then you slam. Oh, we missed you. And then we beat you up. There we go. Times 11. That's what we like to see. Damage in darkness. I do like that because usually we are in darkness. Which is maybe something we should try and not be doing more often. Two-handed bow... Uh, weapon bow. Do lightning damage 30% in darkness. Alright, so this is going to scale pretty nicely. Um, 
These shields are good when they auto parry for us. They're not great when they don't because I don't really parry all too often. Although maybe that's something I really should be learning if I want to get further in the game. A whip. Whips are cool, but uh, the range are a little weird. I never really get on with them too well. I think I'm going to go with a bow. I'll pay with money. We reduce corruption by five, which is even better because now we're going to only have five um, on the, our bar after the boss. And I think we're all good. Let's go. We get cursed on the boss, and then we get purged on the boss. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. We skip you. We've seen you a hundred times. The god of death takes what he wants. Uh, each door imposes a payment of 300 gold. Each gold is converted into damage. If all gold is paid, 10% of maximum health is restored. I'm very happy we're getting rid of that. That would... That is the worst curse I've seen. That is hell. How do you play? I guess what you do is instead you just take corruption for everything. Because you don't... I assume that you don't get corruption and gold. Like cost to get through doors. Because that would be insane. Oh, God. You, you, it was one of the two times attacks. I got... I got... Whoa. I got a little bit distracted by the, uh, by the dogs there. We need to manage these guys now. Kill you. We need to manage these guys. Stun you. We dodge it. We dodge it. Too many, too many attacks. We need to get rid of them. This, this, we started off the fight poorly. Uh, we need, and these guys are attacking more frequently than I feel they usually do. They usually, let me give me a, uh, those tail whips. They're happening, happening quite a lot. I need to make sure. I get you. Right. Okay. We need to make sure if we don't have stamina, we try and go for those perfect dodges, just like that, just like that. Right, the dog's down. The dog comes out and we beat it up. We shoot it. There we go. Now we're on you. Now I can actually start fighting the boss finally. That was bad. Um, I'm usually pretty good on this boss. Got some bad dodges. We got overrun. Get away out, out of there. We don't want corruption. Right, I think we've got that. I think we've got that down. We dodge. We dodge. If we do the perfect dodges like I did, we managed to also get that um, for free, basically. And then we shoot a quick arrow at him. And then for some reason, we shot a quick arrow at this guy as well. Not the worst thing. Right? He's going down. We just got to grind it out a little bit, for sure. Oh, we didn't perfect dodge, so we actually... I'm going to just move out of the way and get my stamina back. Make sure we can kill the, uh, the kitty here. Very nice. He's got to take it steady. This guy's just a bit of patience. He's really not not all too difficult. The second one is a bit annoying. When he goes into, like, the corruption mode. I think we can deal with him now. Right. Deal with the cats first. There we go. And you are down. Nice. Nice. Then we did all right. Uh, med... Obviously, just kind of getting to the safety point. You want to make sure the dog's gone straight away, and it's just finding a bit of bit of time at the beginning of the fight. But once you get it done, it's smooth. Oh, it's cool runnings, man. Cool runnings, man. Uh, six percent base damage per one thousand gold. It's, uh, you know, it is nice, but we want to be. We're going to be spending the gold a lot. We don't have super high perception right now. I don't think we're ever going to get to that point where we have, like, 5,000. But if we do, it's a massive... You know what? Let's me leave it on the floor and see what we can do with this. This is... This is the sword. Fire attacks. You know what? I think I'm going to stick with the mace so we get the three constitution. This, um... I'll take it. I'll take it. But I don't think it's the, the best thing ever right now. I don't know if we're going to get to that point. I mean, some sometimes we, we go absolutely crazy with gold, but... Damn it, I really want to go check out that, um, I really want to go check out that time room. But the attributes on the other side, I think we take the first attribute and then what we'll do is we'll decide. Depending on how we're doing, if, we, if we're pretty good, in a good position, we'll shoot off uh, to do the, um, the time thing. And if not, we'll head off to the left and go get a second attribute. We're going to go through a healing room and we're not going to heal. <laughs> so this is just a wasted... Uh, 
it depends on how you're looking at it. It's a free room where you don't have to do anything. Or it's a, it's a wasted room where we didn't get any gold. Uh, I think I look at it as a, as, a, as a room that we've lost, to be honest. I know you can always take damage, but the whole point of roguelikes is you got to scale early, right? You want to scale um, so you can take on the stuff later on. Okay. Right, you are a summoner guy. So we need to deal with you before you possess... I like the perfect dodges that are coming. I like the perfect dodges. You know what? I don't think I'm too... Oh... Whoa, okay, you know what? Maybe we do need to focus you. You are an issue. Right. We're going to dodge out of the way of that. We're going to dodge you with a perfect dodge. Get a stamina back. Wait, oh. Sometimes it stuns them and sometimes it doesn't. And you've got to be wary. It's like, um... What happens? I don't think that's where you get through the wall. I actually think we can go around and get to that room. What happens is it stuns them if they haven't started to attack. If they have started to attack, they don't get stunned. Like, it doesn't knock them out of their attack. And um, that is something we need to be really careful about because those guys can have a, have a really short start up on their attack. We need to make sure that we're actually watching them out for them. I'm safe here. I'm safe here, I feel. We can shoot some arrows to stay out of the fire. See how he still attacked me, even though I, uh, I kind of hit him? Because uh, it didn't knock him out of it. Right, well, we're okay here. There we go. See, it stuns him afterwards. We can stun you. There we go. And I think then there's a big guy to go fight. No, he got killed. He got killed over here. Uh, minus eight corruption. I love it, man. Hit me with that. We don't parry enemies. We don't weaken them. Still something I really probably got to work on. But I feel like right now I'm getting away with it, so... Maybe we'll stick to the dodge rolls. It's just... I don't know. I'm definitely more of a dodge roll person. Hey! Oh, the double spin. Did not expect that. All right, we got to watch out for that. I know he spins. But uh, the double spin, I don't remember seeing that before. We're going to shoot you to get rid of you. I know you like to do this with a three attack. But that spin attack was new for sure. You know what? Why don't you take a quick... Arrow. There we go. There we go. Using his using his uh options here as best we can. I think that's good. Making making more use of that bow is probably gonna be good only good for us. Six perception, I love it. Um two percent base damage, six percent base damage. It's pretty nice to have both, but um we do like the, the corruption uh, removal. Um this one's probably the worst one right now, so we're gonna go for this one. I do want perception, of course, because that is more gold. More gold means more purchases. More purchases means more everything. Damage, more gold, more health. Um, more survivability, let's say. So, unknown. Spicy. What we're going to find? What we're going to find? What are we going to find? At least we got some combat. It's an altar. It looks like maybe it's a... An upgrade or a damage altar. I don't know if I... I don't know if you can tell the difference. I'm sure they do have different designs, actually. But I can't tell the difference right now. Not yet, anyway. I'm going to shoot you with this... Oh, we got you with lightning damage as well. Super nice. Look at that. Here we go. You know what? Keep it going. Stun this guy. We're going to dodge out of the way when he comes at us. We're going to shoot him. We don't want those guys. What we do want is to keep running away... We want to keep his combo going, so we want the dodges. But we want to keep it... Um, make sure we keep the stamina. It heals pretty fast. Oh, we got a kill. There we go. Just wipe a couple of them out. Use the bow. And this is where the bows do come in handy, you know. This is where you do want the heavy weapon, of course. But look at this. This room could have been really bad for us without a ranged weapon. But here we get to keep the combo going. And we get to stay alive. <laughs> Which is definitely the most important of the two. Oh, we got a double kill there. And now we can just swing on this fool. Swing on him. There we go. I like that you can shoot through both. Um, it does... It does pierce, which is nice. See if we can kill him before... Oh! I say, see if we can kill him before he shoots. And then, uh... 
I knew he hadn't died, but for some reason I just I just didn't dodge fast enough. That was silly. Ooh, the lightning stuns. We like that. We got a couple of perfect shots on him. There we go. Well, unfortunately, we didn't get it to build up fully, but we did get a lot of gold in total. 33% to all healing effects, um, or 180 gold. Two dexterity is nice, but in all honesty, is it nicer than anything else we've got? It's not nicer than that. 6% uh, heal is nice. 33% to all healing effects would make that a little better, but not much. It'd be up to 8%. Um, I think we do. We are in darkness a lot, and 15% damage is, is pretty insane. We take the gold on this one. We take the gold on this one. Here we go. Here we go. Do we want... We are using our main weapon quite a lot, and we're using our uh, two-handed weapon quite a lot. Well, uh, having this as a ranged weapon will allow us... Ooh, it will allow us to change our bow, maybe. For, you know what? It won't, because the bow's range is what's good, and throwing weapons and whips have a really uh, short range. It's not actually that good. Hmm. Not going to be... Oh, perfect dodging. Ooh, okay. 20% critical. This is pretty nice, because they are really fast. They are really fast. Hmm. Per dexterity. We don't want that because we don't care about the weakened thing. Projectile damage increases based on the distance traveled. That's that's fine. Up to 50%. So usually we just want to hit from as far away as possible. We don't have a whip, but we could get one. 30% damage against bosses is pretty insane. Um, against electrocuted enemies. I don't like that if it doesn't give us that electrocution, you know? And it doesn't. So not fantastic. It would heal us a lot though. Do we take this? Because this could inflict lightning, which is good. This benefits from lightning, which is not always that great. I feel like the game is telling me that this one's better. Maybe it is. Maybe we do this for the range, and then we try and get a heavy weapon. Let's go for it. 30% damage against bosses extra seems pretty insane. It's very valuable, especially and elites, especially because that's what we're going to be fighting in a second. Uh, we're going to start, well, we, we already started to, but we're going to be fighting more and more of them, obviously, as we, as we struggle through. Right, so we want to get a curse before the boss, which means we've got four, if we go down here, we've got one, two, three, one, two, three, four doors, technically, right? That's, um, uh, what's that, 80? We're going to go up by 80, so we are going to get a curse, which is great. If we could lower it a couple of times before, then it'd also be very nice. Are we in a good enough position? I don't have much health, but I gotta check out that time room. I gotta, I gotta. It's just intel. It's all intel. We're gonna go for it. We want to do this room anyway, because um, we love the attributes. Oh, it's one of these. Let's get moving. Let's get moving. Make sure these enemies die to the fire. Okay. Oh, no, 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 we don't like that. Hey, no, 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 we actually really hate this. We're going to bring them down here and then move out of the way at last second. Let them all die. Oh, I, f I forgot I've changed my weapon, right? Here we go. Oh, no, I needed him to die fast. Yeah, we had to take that so we could go fast. Another room. Oh, my God, another one. I'm getting hit by everything in the world. Um, we did get a bit of corruption from one of those hits, I feel. I don't I don't know if that's true, actually. I think I did. I feel like we got five corruption. Or maybe because we bought something and it went down by five. Okay. That was really bad. Not going to lie. Um, it wasn't the best work we've done. Okay. Uh, the range still. I'm awkward with this game and the range. You don't know if you're gonna be able to hit an enemy or not for sure. I mean, it does kind of auto aim for you. So what would be really nice is if um, there was just a little marker to show you on which enemy you would attack, uh, and if it, you know, it'd only show up if they were in range. Basically, that'd be super nice. Let's see if we can go get some more enemies. No, we cannot. Wondering if there were another bit of a fight here. So we're in an attribute center. Attribute center. <laughs> Is this Vale La Pena? Yes, we want both. Of course we want both because we want heals and we want the the stats. 
Hit me with the stats. Let's go through, what's this, 197? Uh, challenge. It's a challenge room. All right, so I guess it's a timed challenge. I wonder if it is similar to the Hades challenges where the, the faster... Yeah, if it runs out of gold as you go, like it drains. Oh, it does. It is. It's exactly like Hades. So basically, it starts with a gold amount or something. Hey, okay, we got a. Oh, uh, I need I need my stamina back. Yep. Stamina, stamina, stamina. We need to kill this summoner. That'll do. Hey, we got hit. That sucks. But um, we got rid of the summoner. That's all we wanted. And now we can just pierce. We need it. Yeah, perfect shot. We got 800. All right, so we absolutely love these rooms. <laughs> that's see, that's what come. That's what came of it. 20% damage for, for heavy. We don't care too much. The eight corruptions nice instead. Minus eight corruption. Uh, we love that room. We love that room. Maybe we like it less and less as we scale up through the difficulty, uh, the difficult tiers of the dungeon. But no, that's that's a lot of gold, man. Do we upgrade? No, because what we actually want is just better weapons. So let's get more money so we can spend more money so we can heal more. Uh, and we can upgrade more. Upgrades are not... I, don't, I feel upgrades are probably the worst types of rooms because... Weapon upgrades, you know, they really just usually add like a secondary passive effect or and a little bit of extra damage. But sometimes the passive effects are even like useless. Like, oh yeah, it does more damage. Oh, this guy got healed then. We need to dodge this. There we go. We need to kill you. Oh, you dodged. You're the dodger now. He's trying to get uh, his own greed kill limit thing up. Uh, bonus up. All right, we want to keep electrocuting this guy with the perfect shots. Maybe we can throw a couple of things at him. It is fast, and it does do a lot of damage. I actually really like those throwing, throwing knives. They're pretty nice. Um, this is pretty much the same as this, but with three decks. We like this. We're liking this. We still, for now. I would like more, of course, but we are liking it. Uh, this is helping a little bit. And if we can keep getting all this gold up, it'll start to help more. I think we just re replace this. Um, and take the three dex upgrade, which isn't a ton of extra damage, but it is extra damage, and we are going to be thankful for it. Each greed kill removes a corruption. I do really like that as well. I do really like that. Remove a corruption. Hmm. Interesting. 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 Where does this go? Does it go here? This means... This means we are going to be able to remove more corruption... We are going to have more health, but we're not going to be healing passively anymore. It means we're going to have to go to a healing room. Oh, this is a hard one. I really like the darkness damage because we are usually in darkness. But it is a level one. You know what? I'm going to replace this. I'm not super happy about that. It's 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 something we're gambling on, I'm, I'm sure. But I, I think because we take less corruption... That actually allows us to maybe take a bit of corruption from a healing room and not feel too bad about it because we're going to be removing it anyway. So maybe it'll balance out. We'll see. We'll see. Something we're going to have to work for, for sure. Right, we need this summoner dead. Look at you. Right. Uh, oh, look at that lightning. We love it. Look at you. If you get him with a perfect shot, it's worth it. Otherwise, it, it wasn't worth it. <laughs> so it's all on me. More stuff, more stuff. Heal 3%. You know, no, we're going to heal up on that one. The the killing enemies with the environment is a little bit too random. 15% crit damage is nice, but we don't really crit all too often, I guess. 205 gold is nice, though. Right, we got enough one of these. This is one of the long ones, though, with a lot of gold, so... We are working our way through this. We want all this gold if we can get it. No! One, one, one of the things that I cannot wrap my head around, I don't... I just can't get it through. Um, the enemies block you. That is a massive, massive part of this game. And it's, um, it doesn't seem that important until it, until it screws you. 
and then all of a sudden it's the worst thing ever. Really need to be careful. Other curses are unknown. That's, do you know what? Whatever. In fact, I wouldn't even mind not removing that uh, and removing a worse curse, but not up to us right now. Um, excuse me? Oh, okay. I didn't even see him come towards us to start attacking. Oh my god. We dodge. I can dodge you all day, like, with your two whips or whatever. I need to hit you with the lightning. Dodge. Dodge. Alright. And then what? Then we just keep doing this. Oh my god. The only time you can't, I can't dodge him is sometimes when there's a lot going on. And I don't even really know what he's doing. We need to use these. We need to be using these instead of the bow. The bow's nice for more range, for sure. Right, we need to dodge now. Um, yeah, remember when I said we need to dodge? <laughs> I, I dodged. Uh, I'm pressing it. I'm pressing it. I need to do it faster or slower. I don't know. Come on. And then he does it again, yeah. I know the attack pattern. But for some reason... I just didn't get through to me there. You just needed one or two. Right. We're doing this because um, I know the range is lower, but it doesn't really matter too much. Because uh, this guy's fast and he chases us down. But this does way more damage. And... Oh my god, okay. And we're in darkness, so now it does even more damage. Alright, he's going back to normal. What am I doing? This is what's just suicide run. Suicide run! We've got to be careful, man. Dodge, dodge. <laughs> it is. It's the little break in between. You've got to be careful. And I see how I almost um, tried to dodge through him again. Okay, I really didn't think I was in range of that. Okay. I kind of tried to dodge through him, and it nearly got me blown up. Right. He comes for us, and then chops again. And we shoot him three times. Then he comes for us. And then it misses, then we comes for us, and we dodge again. We keep that perfect going. We dodge. He dodge, and dodge again. There we go. You know, it's easier to say it out loud, kind of counting the rhythm, you know? Maybe we should. I should do that more often. Count, count, count. It actually seems to help, but we got hit for a, for a lot of damage. A lot of damage. That was not Vale La Pena, let me tell you. Okay. 5% of critical damage dealt also heals you. Super nice. I don't know if we have anything that deals crit, which is an issue. Per character hit. All oh, right. So that's actually better if you shoot through more enemies. I'll, okay, that's good. That is good. We don't have any, like, crit increase. What else can it give us? 461 gold is significant for sure. Level 1 on secondary weapon. Secondary weapon is trash right now. Seven dexterity, though. Seven dexterity. 24% max health. I think we take the max health. That's <laughs> uh, level one's all right, but seven dexterity is insane. Max health, 24%. I think we need it. It's too... <laughs> that's, that's bad. That's hard to say no to. In fact, it's so hard that I think we now need to kind of take this one somewhere. Uh, each greed kill removing a corruption is super nice. It is really nice. Is it better than this? Well, the different things are that this... Oh, this is a hard one. You know what? Damage. I know, I know it's really good. 15% is high. It's a, it's a big number. But it's a level one, and I'm just going to trust that the game knows what it's talking about. Where do we go here? We could go heal. We could go heal, gold, challenge, relic, attribute. Or we could go attribute, unknown, challenge, and not heal. I think we need to take the heal. You know what? No, no, no. Healing's too basic. I say this a lot. Healing will get us killed. Healing now will get us killed. I know also healing makes us more survivable. But just hear me out. It's just how it, these games work. It's honestly how they work, like, they want you to heal, because then you don't get upgraded, and then you, you get outscaled by the damage of the enemies later on. I'm, I'm not wrong about this. I've played enough roguelikes. You've got to learn. I need to, you've got to learn to not take damage. You not, not to choose healing, you know? You take healing when we're in a dire, dire straits. 
You need to die. We got him. We got him. And you're dead as well, which were a nice little hit there. Uh, that one over there is just um, a bonus summoned enemy, so it shouldn't be too hard. Yep, we knew, do need to make sure we don't get hit by him, though, for sure. Um, and now we're all alone with this dweeb. Get out of here, you nerd. Gotcha. Throwing weapons. Hell no. Give us the gold. We already got some sick throwing knives. We got the blades. They're all sharpened. We're doing some good stuff with them, for sure. Hey, ah, oh, no, it didn't, it didn't. I've got to go, you always go up here on this room. Um, it'd be good if you didn't get just instantly killed again, though. <laughs> After I'm saying we don't need to heal, we just don't take damage. Well, you do have to heal if you do constantly take damage, because you suck, you know. <laughs> that's, that's the downside, right? We're going to wait for a stamina to come back. We've got to be more considerate of a stamina, for sure, um, in trap rooms. In every room. But especially in trap rooms full of spikes. Right. All right. All right. You? Hey, you're a big guy up there. You see, you've got to kind of survey. You see, uh, another thing is that 15% damage looking pretty good right now. But all we have to do is light one of these. And uh, now we're in... Kind of in the light? It doesn't look like we are, to be honest, so I don't really know. It says at the bottom we're still in darkness. I know that's how you check. It's a little bit hard to check sometimes when I'm trying to concentrate on these big guys that really, really did us in yesterday. Just absolutely destroyed us, and now I'm trying to be a little bit more considerate of their spin and attack kind of arcs. The range of the arcs of the swings. Right, we do have 274 skulls, so this is, even if we don't make it through, this is a victory for us. Um, as, that means we can buy that insane upgrade. We're going to go to the unknown. By the way, that room, that um, area where we should have got an attribute and we didn't get one, this is what I'm talking about. I don't know where it is. Um, it, I didn't see it. It wasn't in that last room. It's the exact same room we had yesterday, and I was, I was like, furious. It's... And, you know, I, I think I have every right to be. You, 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 when you choose one of these rooms, it's a big decision you're making. And uh, you need to scale up, man. And if there's just going to be rooms that don't give you stuff, maybe it's just that room is broken or it's hidden off somewhere weird. I need to really pay attention next time we go through. But, no. Um, you know what? We want the gold because we're not going to do anything with you anyway. My name's 10% damage taken. Is that passive? We are going to take you then. Uh, we are actually going to take you. But, yeah, that room, I really hate it. I really hate it. I need to be. I need to watch out for it next time. Maybe it's somewhere else, and we just need to learn. But I don't know why they'd. Re I don't know why they'd change it. I don't know. Nothing. None of that should be missable. I don't want to keep comparing it to Hades because they are very different games, and they're trying to do different stuff. Um, but it's like you know, Hades. The the boon appears when you finish your room, um, and it doesn't let you go through the door until you get that boon. Whereas in this one, because it's broken up, each room is broken up into several rooms, like several doors, right? Uh, doorways. Gates close behind you and such. Oh, more enemies. Awesome. We can keep it going. Keep the combo going. Let's go. We need to be... Yep. Careful about that. Just get a quick hit in. Get a quick hit in. We are healing for some reason. I think we're getting crits. Oh, we get a crit. Is every time you use a finisher, is that a crit? Oh, it is! So we can heal. We can heal through his finishing attack. That's new info. New intel, baby. Mark that one down. That one's a big one. That one is a big one for sure. We can just keep healing up here. Keep healing up. So we actually want to be able to do more damage with that finisher. Because the more damage we do, the more we heal. Seven a time is not the worst thing ever. Especially when we're doing it like 10 times on this enemy. 70 healing is nothing to to laugh at. Right. And we got a lot of gold. A lot of gold. What are you doing for us? Oh, we already... Uh, eh? Already been equipped. Excuse me. Oh, we got the shield. Of course, of course. What are you? Mm, another shield. The same shield. See, man. Never buy anything in this game. Oh, it's an upgrade. All right, all right, all right. My bad. Um, if we buy something... Remove five corruption. That's nice. But we don't heal. 
Five percent of critical damage. That's really nice. I didn't know that. Well, it's, it is new intel. What's this going to do for us? It's more damage, which is great. It is none of the other things change. Yeah, this just going to be a little bit more damage. But you know what? It's pretty cheap. Uh, it's not cheap. It's not all cheap. But it's uh, it's more damage. It's more damage. Let's just go with it. More damage means more healing. That's, as the old saying goes, uh, a good defense, a good offense is the best defense. That's the correct way to say it, yeah. A good offense is the best defense. And that's kind of what we're doing. That is what we're doing. Healing with our offense. What are you? Oh, yeah, the challenge room. I love you. It's, it's going to be an issue. It's not always going to be easy. we got to make sure... Honestly, you got to take out these weaker enemies. Uh, we need to, you need to also make sure you're not just uh, running out of stamina like a fool. We dodge you. Yep, we're taking precautions. We're going to get over here. We're going to move over here. I would really love to kill you. Oh, we missed him. We, we aimed at the wrong enemy there. Uh, we're going to hit you, and then you're going to go down. You are also down. Why don't I light this torch and do some good damage to you? That were a nice play. Um, we still hit you with the finisher as well, which is good for us. We want to hit you with a finisher, and then we want to move. You're going to spin at us. we got to remember, he does it several times. Give us the heals, baby. We're going to dodge. We're not going to get the heals that time. We're going to let you slam, and then we're going to go for the heals, and we're going to go for the kill. Uh, 650, not the best, but uh, it was... I mean, it's still great. The whip is trash. Give me your gold. Uh, X. Give me the gold. Give me the gold. Challenge room done. I really enjoy those rooms because they give you a lot. Uh, and they also let you get a lot just from fighting enemies because you just fight a lot of enemies as well, which is uh, also just valuable. We do want to go get more attributes, especially because we missed that one down there. We got it. We were robbed, should I say. We were robbed. Um, let's... Move on. Oh, summoner. Okay. Still want to be healing. Hey, that was a scary one. You know what? Let's stun you. There you go. So that we're just dealing with you for now. Um, then you're dead. And now we can get some healing from you as well. That's free heals. We don't heal from them. You don't ever get anything from the, uh, the summoned enemies. Whether you heal them, they just don't even count as enemies. Because I guess... I know you could farm them for health and stuff, but damn. Like... Game makes you work for it. Right, here we go. We got a nice kitty over here. Hey, kitty. Right, um... We'll get you before you can heal, hopefully. Before you can summon, but don't matter. We got you. Room complete. Very nice. Um, 12% healing is great. 15% damage. We just don't weaken enemies. I know 5 constitution is insane. It's already 32 though. We're going to just go for the heals. Get a nice big boost of heals. And we're doing well on not getting attacked right now. So the heals are actually stacking back up, which is really nice. It's nice to see my health above half for once. <laughs> Every now and then, you know. All right, we're just going to wait here for all that stuff to, to go down. You know what? We're going to wait here until the fire goes away. Uh, check quick messages here. Not long. How long are you going to be playing for? Not long. We're just going to do a, a, a symbol, symbol, a single simple run here. And we're already coming up on the close. 15% um, damage to lightning attacks now. Hmm. This is the thing. This is the thing. We don't do lightning attacks. And these are relics, so we'd have to replace something. 30% damage in darkness. That's pretty nice. Um, ooh. 6% damage per 1,000 gold. And we do have that already. That would be 12% per 1,000 gold. We have 5,000 right now. And it's 9 dexterity, which is also a lot of damage. I honestly feel like this is... Has to go somewhere. Gold offerings removing five corruption. Hasn't been doing much for us lately. We love the money. I think we put it here. That means we only go up by six decks. Um, but we are you know, we're not all we're not replacing something else. I do think the we do we do we are doing more kills now, right? So each greed kill, and we are getting a lot of greed kills because of the time limit. 
So we stack in combo there. Let's do this. And because we're offering gold, uh, no, nothing will happen because uh, we just got rid of it. Nice. All right, that's already been equipped. All right. Now we do 42% extra damage. I love it. 42% extra damage. Everybody's going to enjoy that. This guy is going to enjoy it. This lazy guy sleeping on the job down here. Whoa! Ah, oh, dodge through the back of him. But you see, because he spins, the range still gets you. You've got to be careful with that, man. They, they really are. Um, they're hitting a massive wide arc. You've got to be seriously careful. Right, we need to kill this guy. We can deal with dodging you. You are an issue because you're going to keep making people and you're going to keep healing people. Let's dodge again. Oh, he summons elite enemies as well. Is that because he's elite? Or is that just like only super elites do that or something? Right, you are gonna you are very annoying with a teleportation. I'm not going to lie. Double dodge there because we did it a little bit too early. No worries. No harm, no foul. Let's get rid of you because you're a bit of a pain. You, we can just kind of take out steadily. We've still got a stamina. We're going to heal it back up. And there we go. More heals, more greed kills. We love it. Ooh. Come, oh, we can't go up there. Oh, man. <laughs> I was like, oh, new room. What does this do? Maybe it's some kind of special secret? I don't know. Looks interesting, though. They look interesting. What was this? Where are we? This was a relic. Oh, we already did it. It was kind of in the middle, yeah. No worries. Attributes. We do want to go to attributes, as we know. So, after this attribute room, we have another door. Let me check. We have another door, then the boss. So, that's going to be another 40. So, it's going to go up to 123 after this. So, we need to kill a couple of four enemies. Um, just so it doesn't go up on this door, but then it'll go up on <clears throat> it'll go up on the door to the boss. Actually, it doesn't matter because this is the last boss we're going to be fighting anyway. We've done quite well, I think. Um, you know, I, I do forget how far we get into a run sometimes. And I think we've been doing really good with this. Um, honestly, big th shout out to... Uh, throwing knives, you're gonna be a, definitely one of our f favored weapons. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, I hate this room. But now we know it's there, we can, we can, uh... You know, this is gonna be like, in the future, we're not even gonna need the torch, because we're gonna know the layout of the rooms, is that... Like, every room looks different, and we're just gonna know, hey, this is the room with spikes in the middle. Uh, so it's not a... It's a weird thing, is that darkness, because it's gonna be something we come to just learn. For sure. I do love this, and I do love more decks. 50% of damage taken in gold. But the thing is, we don't really need it now, right now anymore, because we're kind of coming up on the end. Um, do we just take this here? Because we already have the gold that we're going to need now. Uh, we don't need the greed kill limit. Do we do this for the extra decks, or do we just do it for the 12% heal? I think we can do it for the 12% heal. I think we can get away with that. We do want some... Tank ability on the boss. We need to be able to, you know, it's a new boss. We need to be able to probably tank some hits because it's going to be all fresh to us. Uh, this is, looks like a little small area. No big deal. Uh, no big deal. Instantly get hit by it uh, with a... You know what? Um, sometimes I'm dodging out. I'm just just clean out of time. Um, I'm dodge, I dodged way too early then on the uh, eyeball. And I dodged way too late on this guy. Just got to watch out for what I'm doing. Just got to learn the patterns. Got to burn them into your brain. And then you slam down and we give you a couple of these. And then we dodge away. We get a little bit of a heal. I want my health back. <laughs> give me my health back. You took it away and then I'm going to take it back from you in blood. Look at all that money. Oh my god. Yeah, these throwing knives have been doing some uh, real work for us. We haven't even used any of his other weapons. They were just... Uh, the bow came in handy early on. Minus 12 corruption. Hmm. 3% base damage per point of perception. So, is is this how it works? The... Hmm. This is how it seems to work. I don't know, actually. The Weighted Blades, for example, 
Is projectile damage increased because it's above that line? Is that only for this weapon and the rest are for every weapon? Or is it like, like passives? It seems like that'd be too good. So these two must only be 30% damage in darkness for that dagger, right? And the 3% base damage perception for that dagger and then the 30% might be for everything? I really don't know, but the thing is... We're not going to get rid of the shield because I don't know how it works. If that 30% damage was across the board, that would be worth taking, probably. But we don't know for sure, and, uh, you know, taking less damage is guaranteed right now, I feel. Oh, no, well, once again, if we don't have a shield out, does that even work? We need, uh, I need to do a little bit of a... Uh, probably needs to be a little bit of tutorialization around that. Maybe there is. Maybe I'll go check after this, because um, there is... There is um, an extensive kind of guide at the beginning. So I'll take a look, see if it mentions that at all. Shoot me. There we go. I'm gonna get you. Ooh, and we got you with the heal as well. Grilled. Grilled? You got grilled. You got killed by... Uh, greed killed. You got grilled. Greed killed is now grilled. Get grilled, son. Throw him on the barbie. We want both, obviously. We can afford it, and it's excellent. 10% damage, always amazing. 52% damage increase. I am very happy with that. We've got some good upgrades. We are healing, we're removing corruption, not that we need to anymore. In fact, we've kind of scaled up taking so little corruption that we're not even gonna have corruption before this boss, right? We're not, we're not even going to be corrupt by the boss. We're not going to have a curse, which is so good. That is just so good. Let's go for Relic, even though we might not take anything. You know what we might do? Oh, no, you can't. You can't. I was thinking maybe if you could, if you could buy something from the shop and then, you, and then like, uh, you know, if, even if you didn't want it. Oh, he runs. He runs. You've got to watch out. He runs before he attacks sometimes, and that means his attack goes... Much wider. we got to be careful. Um, no. No, nah, we still want the minus 10%. See, look at his corruption. We're not even going to be cursed by the boss, which is actually bad management of our corruption because we do want to be uh, cursed by the boss so that he gets purged and the bar gets reset. So that's something we're going to have to watch out for going forward. Uh, it's a shame that these, uh, these statues are not shooting out fireballs or whatever. We're going to dodge... Dodge twice then, we got through, we got, we, we, we're understanding it now. I tell you what, you can, um, you can grind those guys that he summons, but when he's healing people, we could always grind those. Could have just grind that guy maybe back to full health potentially, so. Hmm, now nah, we want the gold. Not that we need it, but we want it. Then maybe we do need it actually. Uh, we actually are quite low on gold. And... We actually have like 12% damage increase depending on gold. So maybe we don't buy anything anyway because we want... Um, and that's for every 1,000 gold. So we're actually like 24% increase. Is that really correct? That seems mad. That seems absolutely absurd. We got you and we hit you with a third hit as well, which healed me for a bit, which was nice. Don't want to forget the Indiana Jones Crystal Skull. Anybody that doesn't like Crystal Skull... I urge you to watch. I know it's not it's not it's not as good. I understand it's not as good. But people hate on it because of how silly it was. Uh, you know what? You know what? No. No. People hate on it for a lot of reasons and a lot of them are correct. People hate on the fact that he escaped a, like a bomb. Like, oh, 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 keep going, keep going, keep the greed timer going. There we go. People hate he escaped the bomb in like a fridge. Because it's like lead lined or something, so you got away from the, the nuclear bomb and that's so stupid. I urge you to watch the first three Indiana Jones movies and tell me they're not absolutely the most physics, uh, just, just like spitting in the face of physics throughout the entire trilogy. You cannot complain about him surviving a nuclear blast in a, in a, I, I'm sorry, you're, you're incorrect. It's, it's, it's a stupid thing to complain about. It's, it, it, that is Indiana Jones. He uses a raft as a, like, parachute and then lands on a snowy mountain and skates down the mountain in the raft. He 
has a minecart that's like a roller coaster um, as it jumps off broken bits of track and then lands back on other bits of track like a Donkey Kong stage. You cannot complain that he escapes a nuclear blast in a fridge. That is probably the most believable one of all. People just didn't want to like it um, because of other reasons, which is fine because it is, you know, it does have its uh, other reasons, especially the fact that it's just a clear uh, stupid MacGuffin movie. I mean, oh, they're all stupid MacGuffin movies, actually, if you think about it. They're the Ark of the Government, you don't know what it does, but at least there's mystery around them. The Crystal Skull is kind of nothing. Uh, it's just, uh, it's literally just a, a weird alien skull. You don't even know what it does until... You know what? It's it's a bit mysterious about what it does, but when you're just throwing it around, it seems less powerful. I don't know. There's a lot of reasons to dislike it, but that's not one of them, I'm telling you. Ooh, another one per thousand gold we do have. By using this, we're gonna go back down a thousand, but it doesn't matter too much because we're gonna get another two percent. Hmm. So we actually have six percent, twelve percent. This would take us to fourteen percent, and it would be on two thousand. So fourteen percent, it would be twenty eight percent if we didn't take. Oh, but also plus seven dexterity. I was going to do, like, the math of, well, if we didn't take it, it would be better, but um, actually, this would be pretty good because of the dexterity as well. We don't care about this anymore. The perception is useless to us now because um, we're on the boss, which is going to be the final boss for us. So we just take this. You know what? We could even take some... We could have even taken this in corruption. 30? And then we go to the boss. Unless the corruption's really bad. We're not going to do that just in case. If we, if we had it below 90, we would have done, done that. Maybe the corruption is, is the one that, like, uh, kills you over time or makes you deal, like, take more damage in darkness or something like that. Something we don't really want. So I'm just going to I'm just gonna go for this. We got plus 7 decks. And then we're getting all of this bonus damage. 2%, 6%, 6%. I wish it would show this somewhere. Does it? If I, like, swap this out... Um, it's 52% damage. If I put this back in, 66% damage. All right, well, there you go. Six, oh, but that's because of the the dexterity. If I remove this one, so it's 66. What am I trying to figure out? <laughs> I want, uh, yeah, this one has constitution, so we would know. So 66, this is what we're trying to figure out. If it actually shows the benefits, not just of the base stats. So we swap this one. 66, so we swap it back, and it's 66, so it actually doesn't show you it there, so we have that 66 bonus, but we also have the insane bonus damages here as well, so that's the, the 14 times 2, 28%, is that on top of the 66, does it do the 66 first, and then the 28 of the, you know, the boosted number, or we really don't know how it works, uh, there's a lot of, a lot of stacked math, stacked math, um, all we know, all we hope is that it does work. Okay, I really don't like this. Are we not on the boss right now? We are on the boss. Um, this is bad. Because <laughs> this is gonna, we may have to keep moving. We've got to keep moving, uh, when these light up. They haven't lit up yet. We're doing good damage, that's one thing. Oh, okay, it's gonna be like one of these bosses, I see. Oh, okay. Yeah, you take damage over there. You know what? We might even use our shield a little bit to knock him onto the fire when it comes because uh, the knockback on the shield is really valuable. Um, if we can make the f him take fire damage. All right. This is uh, this is not bad so far. I missed that. We should have... Uh, that was a bad dodge. Like, I, I, I didn't take damage, but it was fortunate that I didn't. We got him on fire. Wouldn't it be interesting if the fire healed him? I mean, it wouldn't be good for us, obviously. But uh, it would be interesting. We love the healing as well. It's just a little bit. That's all it needs to be. I need to be more cognizant of... Um, get back into the fire. Get back into that fire. Okay, you're... you're 
You're playing with my emotions now. I'm trying to get you into that fire, but... I think uh, it's a waste of time. We might as well just deck you with this... Uh, with the throwing knives, to be honest. Hey, oh, the double one. The triple one there. Missed us on the third one. We can dodge through that. We're gonna... Ooh, I've got to be careful. He actually attacks slower than you might think. Look at that. He kind of winds up a little bit. We've got to be careful. Uh, I did try and dodge through that. I, I really thought we did kind of get through it. So I'm not sure about that fireball. That one was a nice dodge. That's what I'm talking about. Last second. We've got to get away from that. We've got to be careful. This boss does not seem very uh, complex uh, right now. Maybe it's just because we've got an amazing build, to be honest. He does do a lot of damage if he gets to you. That's one thing to remember for sure. Um, if he does hit you, uh, the damage he does is is pretty insane. We've taken, we've only been hit a couple of times, and he's already done some, you know, some different significant chunks of his health for missing. Uh, we didn't have full health when we started, nowhere near. So, all right, all right, we can do this. We got two double double dodge there, and he's down. That was a that was a decent run, you know, like uh, nothing too hairy. We managed those big guys well, which crushed us earlier on. Uh, the bow really helped us out early. Then a bit later, the knives. Knives really did some excellent work. Is that just somebody's leg? <laughs> oh, no. What happened to the rest of him? All right. Well, that's one down. Uh, nice. That, it's a cool boss, though. Uh, you got to love those classic... Uh, the classic, um, bosses, like the Crash Bandicoot ones of, you know, the different blocks that fall and things, or set on fire, you gotta keep moving. Uh, it's a really old school mechanic that you just gotta love. The whispers are creepy, man. <laughs> Whenever you're in the darkness, you just gotta deal with them. Right, well, we know what we're doing. Blood emblems, that's what they're called. Blood emblems. We know what we're doing straight away. We buy this. And then what do we take, what do we put it over? Five constitution at the start and one constitution if your health is below 50% it's maximum. It's alright. It's good if you can keep your health low. Corruption threshold is really valuable. Thousand gold and five perception at the start of the exploration is really awesome. It starts us off really well. But I feel like doesn't this just mean... Our greed count is going to be absolutely insane, and we're going to be getting way more gold anyway. So, is this that valuable anymore? Um, what is the what is the actual three setup that we want? Because game one dexterity each time you run without taking damage is another one that's just mad. And if we kind of do this, if we take this, um, this, and this. This. Ooh, what's this? Physical attacks have a 50% chance to turn into fire attacks. That's also really cool, because we could go all in on fire damage. Um, but if we put in the most expensive ones, I know that sounds... That does make sense, though. In fact, what's this one? Oh, it doesn't tell you how expensive it was. Um, hmm. Yeah, if we go with this one as well. This and uh, this work together to basically, every time you don't take damage, we're just going to be getting way better, because we're going to be doing more damage... And we're going to be getting more gold. And them two are going to scale insanely together. Um, and then this just gives us a bit of leeway. Uh, this also lets us scale. But it means we have to be low on health. Which means I feel like we have to keep taking damage. So this is actually bad to scale with this maybe. Because it feels like these two are against each other. So maybe what we do is... Maybe we actually do put on the thousand gold for now. And just kind of go with that. Any healing that exceeds, yep. Oh, well, all healing would exceed. If we don't take damage. I know that sounds stupid, because we are going to take damage. Um, but we're going to be a lot safer using this. I'm so, my nose, I need to go, like... There's something, like, off my... Like, some of my hair is, like, on my face somewhere. And it's driving me insane. Um... You get what I mean. They're going to scale well, because this means we don't have to jump into the fight all the time. We can actually fight slower, which hopefully means we can take less damage. And then uh, this would mean we would get even more gold. We just love gold, baby. 
Any perfect dodge, gain five dexterity. Perfect dodge is nice. Let's go with this for now. I think this is a nice setup. For sake of weapons, we got a lot of rings. Let's, yep, let's get some like uh, of these cursed blades or whatever. You know what we want? Where are the throwing knives? We now respect throwing knives all of a sudden. We now respect throwing knives. Yep, they, they, they were sick. They were really awesome. This is going to take a while to unlock all of this stuff. In fact, you probably can beat the game before you unlock all that stuff. Weapon altars, we do want to make them better, but you 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 get the weapons eventually anyway. So starting with a better weapon, is it's all right. Um, it's all right, but to be honest... We care more about the blessings. We need to, we need to get two hundred skulls now. Sweet. All right. Well, I'll see you on the next one. That were a good run. How long did that take? I have no idea. Oh, there we go. An hour and ten minutes. Oh, BS. Hidden it in the little corner there. An hour and ten minutes. It were a good run. Oh, I need to do the events today as well. So we'll probably, um, if we play like that, we're gonna smash these two floors. Um, but we do want to do the two these as well because they do give you a lot of uh, skulls. Two skulls per complete room. The plus 10 is a nice bonus, but two per complete room is really good. So I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye. Where is the stop record button? I need this on like a different thing. You got to tab out every time. Bye.